Hello, hi. All right, it's me, Lisa Trenton, it's Brown, and I'm going to do a video report on the energies and what's been going on lately. There has been a lot going on. Um, and it's going to be easier for me to do this in video because of the fact that I haven't had a whole lot of time to be online. And I do appreciate every one of you that are on my Facebook and interacting and supporting each other and offering um, from a place of love, um, which is really important because that's our family. It's pretty awesome. Um, it has been extremely intense for a lot of people lately. And I want to address this because I'm getting questions all over the place about the biggest thing is the physical body and what it was going through or is going through as one ascends. Now, um, nobody expected how intense the journey was. Nobody expected what the physical body has to go through. Um, and now I will go do this only for the sake of assisting those who care. Nobody cares about time here and who did what and when. So that's not what this is about. But, and I don't remember when, a couple years ago, when I went through my own physical ascension, it was intense. Um, and lasted a few days um, that time because it's, it's broken down according to the separation of time for us. So technically, um, my intensity lasted for 40 years. Um, and then when I woke up and the veils started to lift and I started to see and all of my stuff started coming up like it does for everybody, um, when we have to plunge into the depths of hell in order to see ourselves and who we are and who we are not, who we've never been, start questioning reality. Who am I? Why am I here? There's got to be something more than this. We start longing for home. Um, all kinds of things start going on. Um, now, physical realities um, have to change. Lots has to fall away. Um, lots has to go because it was not created in alignment with our new earth version of us. Um, our crystalline structure, and we go from carbon based to crystalline, and as we d upgrade in photonic light, we become quantum, mm, higher self, multi-dimensional beings, again in the physical, walking in multiple dimensions. Now, it starts out with us waking up to confusion and everything being off, finger pointing at that world, not understanding, being very disheartened by what we see. Um, we all have to pull away and go inside. We have to completely disconnect from an outside world and everybody's reality for how this occurs um, is for them. Um, a lot of people uh, lose their jobs so that they will have more time um, to themselves. Um, you name it, the more one held on to a physical reality and things, the more they have to be removed because they're not being removed. They're, you're being pointed inside. You're having things that kept you distracted from the journey. All the distractions get removed. Um, and for the really stubborn human aspect, every distraction gets removed until you have absolutely nothing left other than to go inward the bottom of the barrel, you name it, that's where a lot of us have to go. Uh, why? Because we're stubborn and we said we don't want to listen. We'll hold out until everything is ripped from our fingers and we don't have anything else to hold on to. Now along the way we start to understand how things are. We start to notice the themes, why things keep happening the way they do. This is a part of the journey as well. Now for me, I took everything I experienced and I turned it into a teaching tool. I started writing courses, I started writing blogs, I started um, sharing everything as I went through it. I'm um, not knowing that that was a part of my journey in assisting others as well. When my Merkaba activated, um, when my light body activated, I sat and I wrote. I would go unconscious with my finger on the keyboard typing the last um, period at the end of the sentence so I could fall over and pass out. Um, I took all of those writings and I took and I sat and my higher self told me to write a book to help others that this was the purpose that 
this was really important to get this information out there so that others would have it to assist them as well. So I did. Now I had written the first book, Awakening to Remembering, um, A Journey of Consciousness. Um, at the time I didn't understand who they were or we were, not knowing that that was us. Um, we grow into our understandings and I did too as I started to embody um, all of these um, magnificent energies and frequencies and memories and beings as a part of who I was and we walk as we this is us here so then it was time to write the second book navigating dimensions and it was I was shown it was to be reminders for remembering and it was to be a um, ascension awakening and ascension guidebook and that's what I did I put everything I could put in there and I broke it down from one dimension to the next and I explained as simply as possible what all of this is so that one could actually cut through the chase and have an understanding that they didn't have before and actually embrace the journey and is transmitted in a frequency of light and that it wakes you up while it puts you to sleep yes that's how it works here so um, but beyond that, that's not why I started this video. I, the reason I mentioned the book is because I wrote all of this about how um, the light body and the Merkaba and the um, physicalness and our programs and our kidneys and our liver and our organs and the subatomic molecular restructuring. Now, don't let that scare you because I also wrote about um, the, the purpose of anger, the purpose of confusion, um, all of these things and how to tell when you're about to shift to one dimension to the next. So, yes, it's all in a book, believe it or not. As I, after I had experienced it, as I experienced certain things, I wrote, and then I put them all in there. So, big book, don't try to read it front to back. Flop around, read the first section, um, and, and then mm, move around, because otherwise you'll never make it through the book. It'll knock you out and you'll sleep. Most people, some people don't, but um, the logical human has to go to sleep. That's kind of the purpose because that's how we wake up. So, all right, I'm going to skip that because that's not why I was starting this. The physicalness of this journey can be intense. Um, you're releasing, you're clearing, you're purifying your body. You are becoming light. Um, you are becoming crystalline. You are releasing separation density from within you and it's got to leave the body the spine gets activated with Christ consciousness crystalline um, the frequencies they will activate up your spine back of the neck I just did a video on this for some uh, for uh, one of the courses um, electromagnetic energy um, your body will completely feel like you've been plugged into an electrical socket um, you will, you will, your senses will expand. You'll be hearing frequencies inside your head. That's the entire universe. That's your higher self. That's other versions of you in other dimensions. That's everything. That's the sun. You name it. Yes, everything is going on inside of your body. Um, you are becoming a solar, crystalline, star being, stargate, um, the new human, um, you are upgrading your grid work inside of you from carbon base to crystalline you name it everything is going on inside of you your crystals are activating and that's pretty cool because as your crystals activate um, your body cleanses and, and clears and then your, it starts becoming self-regulating you don't need to drink water a lot other days you drink a lot your body cleanses and purifies um, and, and releases density um, when the frequencies hit a certain frequency, because I listen to them all day long, yes, I know, um, everybody that knows me knows this, I listen to the entire sun, solar flares, you name it, that's what I write for people when I have time on Facebook, um, and other places. Yes, I wonder, okay, but this is kind of the point. We're supposed to talk about anything we want to from the heart, and that we don't make lists for that kind of stuff. So. Lately, intense, a lot of portals um, of death opened up, not death, um, for the physical bodies, um, for the souls to leave. There are portals that have activated this last week, um, every day, two, three times a day. Um, now, actually, I haven't, mm, I can't say I, I 
didn't hear them today, but there was a, a couple things that occurred to let me know they had activated. Um, souls are leaving a lot at a time. Now, that's not to create fear. This is our contracts, and this is our mission. This is what we came here for. Um, they opted not to stay here for this during this incarnation and to let and, and move on beyond the body. And um, souls don't die. So, um, it's just energy it's us as consciousness and they let go of that physical form and it's a beautiful thing if you can understand what's truly going on wouldn't you love to know that that soul just ascended that they're an ascended master now wouldn't you love to embrace that and and the beauty of what that is now those that opted to stay here have to go through a multiple of deaths they are separated over the perception of time. The body has to die several times. It feels like it. Um, the emotional body, um, we hit rock bottom. Uh, we have mental breakdowns repeatedly um, through this journey. It has to happen because each break releases the mechanisms um, that were held in place, those safety mechanisms, the, the quantum field, the barriers were located inside of us. It is our old grid work and it's breaking down. Photonic light is activated inside of us and it's obliterating the physical body as it was. It upgrades in light and um, supercharged. Um, is an understatement for what's going on with our cells. Uh, we woke up this morning to a quickening, which means we're um, we're jumping. We're walking through portals and vortexes. Uh, you can feel them activate um, head, heartbeats all throughout your body, different galactic ones. It's pretty cool. Um, you name it. It's going on inside of you. You are the universe. Um, now, everything human within you has got to go. So, if you have fear, it's going to activate. That is the point. Now, we don't believe the fear anymore. It's just an old program. When the body activates, when the Merkaba kicks in, sounds like an airplane. You'll hear the hum. It'll feel like you're on an air uh, landing strip and you're about to take off. Your body will start shaking. If there's any fear, yes. Correlate that to an earthquake. Yes, there's going to be those going on because this is simultaneous exi existences. So, yes. Merkaba activates, your identity, everything goes, you, you can't remember anything, you don't remember your name, um, you start floating inside, um, you're ascending. That's what you've waited for. It's pretty cool. Um, you lose consciousness sometimes. You heat up from the inside out. Water pours off your body. Sometimes you wake up and you're covered and you're drenched. Yes, you were expanding in your sleep. Again. So, Lots of weirdness going on for a lot of people. Um, let go of the old perceptions of what you thought this was. I had to tell somebody the other day, and I sat here and watched it um, continually, where somebody said um, they they had a uh, their head was exploding. That's what happens when your pineal gland and your pituitary gland and everything are activating. Your um, neural pathways for the universal mind to open up so that your heart and your mind can unify as one. Um, sugar. Um, caffeine sometimes. Um, dark chocolate. You name it. Your body is needing a lot of it when you're upgrading like that. It becomes fuel. Um, let go of the perceptions of f what food was. There are days that you only want green and live. There are other days that you only want peanut butter cookies, peanut butter, bread. Let's see what else. Yes, for those who are vegan, uh, you won't do this, I guess. Um, vegetarian, you want cheese and lots of it. Your body needs grounding and sometimes it's food. Um, there will be times that you can't eat any of that stuff. You can't eat anything at all. You are so nauseous that ginger tea or ginger is all you can handle. Laying down, um, drinking a lot of water, not drinking any water. When the crystal, when the frequencies hit high again, your crystals kick in. Your body starts to flush. 
your kidneys start working again, your adrenals start working again, they have to be taken offline. All of the separation that was inside of you has to come up and out. You'll feel more human during these times. Your body will contract. Um, your body expands. Your consciousness expands. You look pregnant. Um, your lymphatic system blows up. You name it, everything going on. Um, throat chakra been hit huge and I'm about to write a piece on communication because communication is the center of everything going on lately and if you cannot communicate everything will fall apart and really fast it's this takes the new existences utter and complete communication and openness and letting go only the human holds something back only the human hangs on only the human aspect of us um, believes that somebody's out to get them, plays the competition competition game, worries about what another one says. We do not play that. That's old earth programming. You have to choose between old earth and new earth. You have to choose which version of you, old earth or new earth. Which one do you want? You are a creator. This is your world, your universe. You have to embrace it. That's why we're going through this. Every moment is ascension. There is not one breath that is not. And you created this entire journey. Every bit of it. And technically, you've already experienced it. And the cool part lately is some of us, and because I work with somebody, I'm always working with somebody in every moment, and uh, never stops. Um, you've already experienced this. So, you know, you're sitting here telling you you've already experienced this. Pay attention. You're going to do it the same way. You already know how to do this journey. You just got to do what's being shown inside. It's already been done. That's the cool part lately. We're like, wow, we've already experienced this. So we already know what's coming next. So we just stay in alignment. We just honor what we're shown. We flow with the weird stuff. We wait for stuff to come. We slow down. We're very patient. We don't push. We don't seek. We do what we're shown in every moment. We come from honor. You will hear me talk about this a whole lot. You want to know why? Because honor from inside, love, following your heart, opening up, Assisting others and being in service in every moment, in every breath. That creates realities. That's powerful. And yes, we are powerful master beings here. And our realities are magnificent. And yes, sometimes it's really intense. Um, today, got up. I was like, whoa, this is going to be a fun day. And it was. And all of a sudden, energy started, and it was weird because energetically I was feeling things, but not, I wasn't feeling those things. I was aware that they were coming up and out. Um, I had the awareness that the feeling of crying was there, but I didn't need to cry. There was nothing going on, and then all of a sudden, I flipped into this mode of instant obsessiveness. I needed to find this thing. Um, something kicked in and I went into obsessive mode about that and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, what is going on? I was clearing obsessive energy. I'm like, wow, really? Lasted a couple hours. I actually went with it because I'm like, wow, there's apparently some old energy I got to get out of my body, which is cool because you can't ever understand fully what's going on until after the fact when you look back. You just honor it. This morning, I went into obsessive mode. Then all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I need to go tune in and see what's going on. And I checked with her. And I'm like, what's going on with you? Attachment energy was clearing. Huge attachment energies um, to things that were in our reality that we didn't even know we attached to. Clear, clear, clear. Gone. Now, you can feel everything's off. It'll synchronize back up. And boom, you're back in alignment. Things are flowing again. But this was a very intense day today um, with all of this. We went to tune in and go to see what was going on. And what I saw and the words were the war between heaven and hell. Now that usually correlates to the physical world out there, which means there's something going on, obviously, with war. I, I don't know. I don't look. I don't play in the lower realms. I may have a lot of work to do, and there's plenty to do here. We support the new realities. We create them. We're way showers. We do them. 
we do it. Uh, we don't um, do the old realities. We leave that to those who signed on for those contracts to, to have those realities there. For everybody embracing their ascension journey, keep embracing it. Know that the intensity will pass. Um, I wrote a piece about the dogs lately and a bunch of ancient stuff um, and, and what was going on with the souls and the portals and, and, ascend, and ascending souls. We had the most magnificent week of souls ascending here in the physical. And I actually got to be a part of one who went through it and, and to assist them as well. They got tricked by the universe to come here and then boom. So, you know what? Um... But you don't ascend without releasing the old intense human stuff. And that's what you're releasing. It's not that ascension is rough. It's that releasing the human stuff is what um, we held on to. That's what's crea creating the intensity. And you want that to go. You don't want to keep going through that. So don't say to yourself, oh, it's back again. Or that there's anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. It could not be more right, and we don't do right or wrong, so I'm just using words. Things are getting more magical. Things are becoming more amazing. Everything you have desired is coming forth because portals to multiple dimensions are opening up to new magnitude beyond anything you've ever seen. And, But you have to expect it. You have to get up and look for it. You have to create eight from the inside out and you have to accept wherever you are in your journey is perfect for you so many people these last few months went through I have no desire to do anything at all my head's not working I can't create anything that's okay because you are mm, I don't know how to explain this one in this moment right now but technically you have to hit a dead zone where you can't do anything at all because when you go into the next phase of ascension then um, creator use coming forth Higher self is embodiment of your higher self aspect. Another uh, dimensional version of you is occurring. Utter and complete bliss, peace beyond anything you've ever seen. Happiness, the, 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 the beautiful magnificence of the wide-eyed child in awe. The colors, you name it, it's the magical here. Everything interactive. But that means you've got to interact with your reality, um, with ascension. And you actually have to choose to embrace it and do everything you can. And it does mean um, letting go of the things you held on to as you perceive them to be. Because if you want awesome, you got to embrace. And you don't get the magic if you're not willing um, to let go of the things that stopped you from connecting from this place. So... I work with people um, every moment of the day in every state. And yes, I visit many in their dreams and because it's not a dream. It's another dimension and we work multidimensional here. And I've had a lot of people lately tell me that I've been showing up and working with them. Yes, I have. I wake up and I have seen uh, me working with every one of you. It's beautiful and us working together and it's magical indeed. So... I don't know if I talked about anything important for anybody, but it's very important to know that you are ascending. If you're here and if you're watching this video, you're, you're ascending. You're waking up. You are awakening. You are becoming more conscious. This is your journey. This is what you came for here. Um, it is magical, um, but releasing the old human stuff um, is not what you expected. And the physical world is going to be a bit different than you thought. So let it all go. Embrace you. You are utter and complete, magnificent being of light. And this is who you are. So if you're wondering who am I, you are more than you could even dream. And you're going to find out every moment of the day who you truly are by letting go of who you're not anymore and never were. So I love you. Mahalo, and I'll send another video out as soon as I can. It's been a very busy, busy, busy time for all of us, and we're doing the best that we can. And thank you to all of you who have um, sent in um, contributions or are assisting in some way. We're doing our best to bring forth a lot of new earth realities and um, 
a lot of things that, um, you know, there's a lot to do. And as way showers, we have a lot of work. And for those of us, or, or those out there that actually support us, it is greatly appreciated more than you know. Because um, that's what we're here to do is support each other so that we can all um, exist here together as one, as love, as light. And crystalline grid, grid keepers, crystal grid creepers, creepers, keepers. Wow. Yes, I know. I'm not doing very well at talking today. Crystal grid keepers. This is who we are. So stay conscious. Um, let it all go. Keep embracing. And uh, remember, we don't fall. We land on clouds. We float. We're angels. We're ascended masters. And it is not as you perceived it to be a whole long time ago. This is a very different journey than anybody expected, which is why we share, because it can be amazing. Um, get through what you're going through. Give yourself some love. Pamper yourself as much as you can. Stretch your body out. Get out in nature. Put your body on the ground. Um, know that nothing's wrong with you and that um, it, it will pass and pretty soon and um, it, your body will continue to purify and cleanse, assist it, take it serious um, and let go of the resistance and the mindset that something's wrong with you. It, that will make it easier instantly when you do and give up, surrender, um, let your body go, let your mind go, quit fighting. Um, it'll get a whole lot easier when you do. So I love you and thank you and I'll be doing more. I always am. I do not stop every moment in every dimension. This is how we do it now. I love you. Mahalo.